Hello and welcome to my video. Today I will be telling you tips and tricks about Summoner Showdown. First of all, Summoner Showdown has a 4 star restriction. I will be showing everyone who to bring in as the best option. Number 10. Gwenpool. Gwenpool is a high damage dealer who relies on damage over time. Like her bleed and incinerate. Her incinerate comes from her special one. You can refresh this incinerate with her bleeds on the basic attacks. Same with her special lock on her special 2 and her insane amur break on special 3. Number 9. Stark Spider-Man. Stark Spider-Man is an insane damage dealer who relies on his poise charges. These charges increase his damage per additional poise. His heavy attack will power drain if his emp web is on. On his special 1 he will stun for 2 seconds and on his special 2 he has a chance to inflict a few shock debuffs. Number 8. Hyperion. Hyperion is a heavy spam champion. He is one of the top options in the cosmic class. On his heavy he has a 40% chance to gain a fury buff. He is immune to the poison debuff. His special 1 will deal incinerate over 10 seconds. His special 2 will armor break and has a 60% chance to stun for 4 seconds. Special 3 Hyperion will gain 3 cosmic charges which will increase damage by a bit and if Hyperion consumes all 3 charges he gains cosmic regeneration over 15 seconds. Number 7. Omega Red. Omega is one of the top mutants in the game. When you're in a certain range near the defender he will add the spore debuff to the enemy. This debuff will go away if you are not next to the enemy. But this debuff will be locked by using a heavy attack for 7 seconds with the degeneration. His special one will remove all spores to regenerate a certain amount of health. His special 2 will surround Omega Red with a death field for 10 seconds allowing spores to go higher than 10 spores and his special 3 will also give him regen. Number 6. Warlock. Warlock is immune to poison and bleed. Every hit the enemy gains 1 virus debuff and when this reaches 20 all buffs are reduced by 6 seconds. The opponent is also heal blocked in this stage. On heavy attacks Warlock inflicts the enemy with bleed. The special 1 will shock the enemy. The special 2 inflicts 2 armor break debuff lasting 10 seconds also the last hit refreshes 1 infection. Number 5. Archangel. Archangel is an attacker who relies on damage over time debuffs. He is immune to ability accuracy reduction. Archangel needs to be duped. Archangel's heavies have a chance to inflict bleed each having a chance on block to give enemy a poison debuff. 1 bleed 25% chance. 2 bleed 50% chance. 3 bleed 75% chance and 4 bleed 100% chance to inflict poison if enemy hits into your block. If you heavy attack whilst the enemy has a poison it has a high chance to inflict neuroticin. Number 4. Domino. Domino is a high damage dealer. When gaining a bar of power Domino has a small chance to gain a lucky buff and or give the enemy an unlucky debuff. The lucky debuff increases critical rating and damage as well as block proficiency. She also has a 10% chance to evade incoming attacks. If the enemy is unlucky they can't dexterity or evade and their damage is low. Special 1. Each hit has a chance to deal a bleed debuff. Over 7 seconds. Special 2. Each hit has a 25% chance to inflict a bleed debuff over 7 seconds. Special 3 74% chance to inflict bleed debuff over 7 seconds. When lucky is enabled increased chance to get critical bleed on special. Number 3. Corvus Glaive. At the start of the fight Corvus gains 20 glaive charges each one removed for every critical hit Corvus does to the enemy. As long as Corvus has glaive charges every hit except his first hit light attack hit is a critical hit including special attacks. 
When Duke Corvus cannot die from any debuff as long as he has one or more glaive charges. Special one every hit is a critical hit as long as he has a glaive charge. Special two is unblockable and is all crits as long as Corvus has a glaive charge. Number two Quake. If Quake is holding down heavy attack she has a 100% chance to evade every 0.50 seconds the enemy gets an aftershock debuff whilst heavy attacking. These when they expire deal a lot of damage to the opponent. Special 1 inflicts 2 aftershock debuffs on the enemy. Special 2 inflicts 3 aftershock debuffs on the enemy. Special 3 adds 6 aftershock debuffs to the enemy and shocks them for 3 seconds. Number 1. Ghost. Whilst dashing back using Ghost you will phase for 2 seconds. Ghost cannot phase when he has a passive precision or when she has an armor break debuff on her. After phasing her first hit is a critical hit. Whilst using a heavy attack Ghost has a 50% chance to gain a fury buff. When phasing Ghost will shrug off 90% of damage over time debuffs. If Ghost faces and then instantly uses special attack all hit will be critical hits.